This is a story about Blossom the Awesome Possum and the day that she went to school. When she went and started living with Bill in his barn, it happened to be Christmas vacation, and that's why Bill was home all day. But you know about Christmas vacation, it doesn't last forever. <clears throat> and soon the day came when Bill had to go to school. They watched the yellow school bus come to the road, which was way down a lane. They had a very long driveway and Bill had to walk all the way down <clears throat> to get on the bus. <clears throat> and he was gone all day long. And when he came home, he came out to the barn so he could feed the animals. And they asked him where he was. He said he had been to school. What's it like going to school? We've never been to school, all of them said. So Bill said, well, mostly it's pretty boring because you have to sit and listen to the teacher teach. But it is nice to learn things. <clears throat> really? What did you learn about today? Asked Blossom. Well, we learned how to multiply numbers. Really? Said Blossom. Nobody's ever taught me numbers before. Numbers are pretty useful, said Bill. It helps you know how much there is of things. Wow, said Blossom. I wish I could learn numbers. And Bill said, well, why don't you come to school with me tomorrow? <clears throat> Blossom said, could I? That would be great. Meowmack said, not me. I like it here in the barn. I can just look for mice and lay around all day. Martha and Mary said, this is the life for us in the winter time, especially. We don't want to go to school. <laughs> Missy just mooed because she was too big to take. <clears throat> Bill said, well, we have to leave early in the morning. You'll have to be ready. I'll come out as soon as the sun comes up. Actually, before the sun comes up, when it just starts to get light, and after I feed the others, I'll let you get in my backpack. <coughs> that night, as they were going to sleep, Blossom was so excited. She thought, I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight because I am going to school in the morning. Yay! <laughs> but she did go to sleep. She did go to sleep. And the next thing she knew, the barn door was opening. And here comes Bill, all dressed, <laughs> carrying the food. You put out some cat food for the cats, for the meow mix. And he gave some sheep food and cow food and some hay. <clears throat> Made sure their water was ready to, for them to drink. And then he said to Blossom, Are you ready for our big day? Blossom said, You bet I am. So he put down his backpack and she crawled in it. And Bill said, You are have to stay in here all day, I'm afraid, because the others might be scared of you if you came out. And Blossom said, I, I bet they would be. I scare a lot of people. You're one of the few that's not afraid of me. <clears throat> really, said Bill. Oh, I'll tell you about it sometime, said Blossom. And as he carried her down the lane inside his backpack. <clears throat> she remembered another time 
of being with people when she had lipstick on her face and a time when she had fallen in the blue paint and a time when she had the orange cheese on her face. Lots of times people screamed when they saw her. <laughs> anyway, she thought about all those times and she thought it was pretty funny. Well, well, huh. Took her on the school bus. It was nice and warm. And there were other kids on the school bus. And they were all talking at the same time. And she couldn't really hear much of anything in particular because everybody was talking at once. And Blossom thought, how can anybody learn if everybody's talking at once? You can't hear anything, really. <clears throat> but after a while, the school bus stopped. Blossom felt the backpack getting picked up. Everybody got off the bus and went into the school. And when they got in the school, Bill put the backpack under his desk. And Blossom, she didn't stick her nose out. She just peeked out with one eye peeking out the edge of the backpack. And she saw desks all in a row. And she saw a teacher up front. And she thought, oh, this is different. And the teacher said, quiet down, class. They quieted down and the bell rang and the teacher said, it's time for our spelling. Get out your spelling books. <coughs> so they got out their spelling books and the teacher started writing things up front and Blossom heard squeak, squeak, squeak. And the teacher put funny lines on the whiteboard in the front and Blossom thought what are those funny lines then she saw Bill pull out a little tablet and a pencil and he started putting funny lines down on his paper just like the teacher wow thought, thought Blossom Bill knows how to write funny lines too <coughs> I'll ask him about it when we got home, get home. And then the teacher said, okay, it's time for arithmetic. Get out your arithmetic books. He pulled out another book. And when the book was coming out, Blossom saw funny lines on it too. Wow, they used these funny lines for lots of things. And the teacher started talking about numbers. And Blossom didn't know. He couldn't, she couldn't figure out what the teacher was talking about. Because <laughs> she had never had any mathematics before. She didn't even know how to count, really. <clears throat> she thought, I'm going to have to ask Bill about this when we get home. Well... Blossom got pretty tired out from being confused, and she took a nap. Now, that's kind of interesting because Bill usually wanted to take a nap when he was in school, but he wasn't allowed to. He had to pay attention. <laughs> but nobody could see Blossom inside the bag. Next thing Blossom knew, Bill was picking up the bag and he whispered to her, it's lunchtime. Oh, that's nice, said Blossom. I know how to do lunchtime. So Bill sat by himself in a corner of the classroom, took out his lunch and pulled out his sandwich and he tore off a corner of it and gave it to Blossom inside the bag. It was 
ham and cheese again, but she got some of the ham this time. She liked it. <clears throat> it didn't have any onion on it, though. She missed the onion. And then Bill brought out an apple. And he took a bite of the apple. Ooh, it sounded crunchy. It smelled really nice. Bill took another bite. And after he <laughs> took a crunch of it, he took it out of his mouth. And he gave it to Blossom inside the backpack. Ooh, she liked apple. While Bill crunched on his apple, she nibbled on hers, too. Wow, well, I do like this part of going to school, she thought. <clears throat> and when they got back to the class time, Blossom already knew that she couldn't figure that out, so she just took another nap while Bill did his schoolwork. And soon, picked up the backpack. It was time to go home. The day went pretty fast when she could just take a nap and sleep through it. Bill thought different. Bill thought the day took a long time because he was so excited to get home and to talk with Blossom about what she thought, what she thought about school. <coughs> so the bus ride was noisy again. But soon, Bill was getting off and ready to go to his classroom, go up to the barn. First off, he went to the house, told his mom he was home, and he got some cat food for the cat and said, I'm going down to the barn to take care of the animals. She said, don't stay too long because you have to do your homework. I won't, Mom. When they got to the barn, he told Blossom, I'll be back later after I do my homework and we'll talk about your day at school. Blossom was pretty excited about that. And the other animals after Bill left, said, what was school like? What was it like? And Blossom said, well, actually, I slept through most of it because I couldn't figure out what they were doing. And the other animal said, well, that's just what we did here too. We took a nap. <coughs> and Blossom couldn't wait for Bill to come and talk about school. But that's the end of the story for now. Good night. <laughs>